Surprise, guys! Hey, obviously, I've got a new Let's Play going here. <laughs> um, I thought, I, I got this game over the weekend, and I'm just like, dude, I have to do a Let's Play of this. I mean, I'll never top this one Let's Play I was watching of this game that was just absolutely freaking hilarious, but I thought I'd try. Alright, so I know it's been like almost two weeks since my last video. Sorry, um, my sister-in-law made a surprise visit on Friday and stayed with us until today. So, I didn't really get a chance to Let's Play because she has two noisy children that she brings with her and, well, you know, I don't think you want to hear that in the background here. Alright, so, this game. As you can see, I kind of have played all of this already. What I left for you to see is me trying this. <laughs> okay, let me let me start over here. This game basically is a silly little game where you are operating on people with these really, really awkward controls. See the screen here is displaying how you... Um, control things. I have not played this in a few days now, so um, this might actually be pretty humorous. <laughs> Basically, yeah, here I am grabbing the phone. Um, I actually meant to grab this. There we go. Pills! Yeah, you basically become like Dr. House or something in this game. I don't know. But, um... No, th this is just such a hilarious game, and you're going to find out why. Before I go into ambulance mode, for those of you who have not seen this game Let's Played before in any way, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what this game is, how you play it, etc. By the way, don't believe this. I have completed the brain tra transplant like two or three times. It's just lying. Alright. So... I have to perform a heart transplant. And yeah, this is going to be great because I'm not really used to the controls anymore. But alright. So yeah, by the way, if you're squeamish, you may not want to watch this. I'm squeamish, but I can still play this. But if you're like one of those extra squeamish people, may not be a good idea. Alright. So, just for luck, we're going to stroke his face. Yes, we're going to stroke your face, sir. Because that's not creepy at all. Alright. Now, to make this more interesting, I am going to start with showing you what you should not do. Unless you, I don't know, really know what you're doing here. I'm going to grab the drill. Maybe. Well... We'll see. Okay, I grabbed the drill. <laughs> oh yeah, this is looking really, really... Whoa, whoa, oh, sorry, sir. I think I've just murdered you. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have to cut through the rib cage here and, uh, you know... Here, let me show you guys something. <laughs> Before this guy dies, the green syringe here. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Hold on, maybe if I stab his face. Here you go, sir. Stabbing your face with a syringe. Ah, there we go. Yes, so, the green syringe slows the blood loss. <laughs> FYI. Now then, let's resume murdering this man. <laughs> this is what you should not do if you want to... There we go. You know, win the game. <laughs> I'm not even trying. I'm just... <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. You're go you are just wow. Oh, there's a lung. <laughs> I just want to say I I I 
I'm sorry, sir. I don't think you're you're gonna have a lung anymore. <laughs> oh, green syringe, quick! There. There we go. <laughs> oh, this game. Uh oh, it looks like I finally uh, hit an artery there. <laughs> now, how about, since I've shown you that, show you how you're supposed to crack the rib cage. Whoa, hey, hey, hey now, hammer. Don't do that. <laughs> If you lose things, like if something falls off a table, you are so screwed. Oh, just like that, I'm screwed. <laughs> All right, so you can kind of see where the fun comes in this game. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you from the beginning how to do this correctly now. Although. Even the correct way can sometimes go very wrong. Alright. I hate these beakers. I always shove them out of the way because I'm just like, Get out of my way! I'm pretty sure they're specifically there to screw you up. Alright. So. What you should do, or the safest way to, you know, do this is, uh... Eh, 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 eh. Uh. Come on. There we go. Stupid rib cage. <laughs> Sorry, sir, you're not going to have a rib cage anymore after me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Basically, try to be as careful as possible as you're hacking away at this person's bones. Actually, this is pretty much the cleanest I have ever done this. There we go. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that lung that is just flapping away on the drill. <laughs> Uh Oh. A piece of rib cage. More pieces of rib cage and a lung goes on the floor. <laughs> Alright, ah. Awkward controls, trust me. Of course that's part of it. That is just part of the fun of the game is how weird the controls are. Hey, that, that, come on, give me your liver. Give me the liver. It's not like you're gonna need it anymore after this. No more drinking for you, buddy. <laughs> I can get it, I promise. <laughs> Let me feel around in your body first. Uh. Come on. No, I can get it. I swear. Maybe if I do this? No. <laughs> there we go. Something he doesn't need anymore. Alright. Now, the next thing that you have to do is, well, get the lung away from the scalpels. There we go. I think I should get to my hammer out of the way. Alright. So, as you can see, now I've tried to just grab the heart without cutting the esophagus and the stomach. Then I tried using everything to, you know, cut the esophagus up here. Do not do that. <laughs> um... You will need these. Maybe, if I can grab them. A one. A single scalpel. 
maybe. Oh, that's a good grip. Uh, okay, so what you have to do here, let me adjust. Ah! Yeah. Uh, yeah, and this is me actually trying to do well in this. <laughs> ah, it's not working very well, is it? You have to, like, cut it. There we go, I got it. I don't trust that he's not bleeding even a little, so I'm just going to go ahead and poke him. There we go. Oh, I forgot to show you what happens if you do... Uh, let's see if I can set this up here. Oh, yeah. There we go. If you accidentally poke yourself with the green syringe, this happens! <laughs> now, as if it wasn't hard enough to, uh, you know, go and do this successfully, let me try to grab the stomach and pull the stomach out. I can do it. I know I can. Maybe. <laughs> I think I got it! Yeah! Woohoo! Okay, no, but seriously, all you have to do is prick yourself with the blue syringe. Let's see if I can successfully do so. It doesn't look like it. It looks like I just lost it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up. I may be stuck like this now, which kind of really sucks. Alright, it's okay, I can do this, I promise, I, I can do it. Alright, with the esophagus cut and the stomach gone, first of all, I just want to make sure I, yeah, I think I could grab that, let me, let me try that again. <laughs> Come on, blue syringe! Okay. No, oh, crap. Blue syringe! Come back! Okay, never mind. It's a lost cause. Alright, back to this. You have to cut the arteries on the heart. Okay. I'm just making sure the green syringe is kind of easy to grab. Alright. Cutting arteries. Oh, that didn't work very well. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, that wasn't a good idea. You'll know you're successful when you no longer hear the heart beating. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you can cut the esophagus out. Look at that. I haven't cut... Oh, crap. I haven't cut a single artery <laughs> with all that stabbing around. I'm good. By the way, this these colors and stuff eventually goes away on its own. Let me see if I can grab the esophagus. I swear, I've tried I tried cutting it from the top there, and it didn't work. But there we go. All right, now that's out of the way. Let me see. I yeah, I don't think I cut a single one. Oh wait, there's blood loss. Oh crap. Okay. Oh no, 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 Stabby. 
Stabby. Oh, I don't have the syringe. Never mind. I thought I had it. <laughs> Clearly this acid trip is getting to me. And I'm not even actually... Uh -huh. I got it! Yeah! Okay. Hmm. Okay, apparently it's glitching to say that I am... He is losing blood when he really isn't. Oh, I really wish the colors in the... Double vision would go away. That'd be great. <laughs> I was hoping this would go my, by much faster because I did want to demonstrate the other two procedures. Crap. Wait! I think it stopped. Yes! Okay. Grabby the wait, you know, I should grab the syringe. Syringe there we go. Let me assure you, without that green syringe there is no way to succeed. Because I tried it first, I didn't realize what the green syringe did. And I kept failing every time. Then, I actually learned what the green syringe does. New heart! Here you go, buddy. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, now for the kidney transplant. This one gave me issues too, but I like the, the Darth Vader sound effects here. Alright, this one can be a little trickier because, well, you can't just grab these and pull them out. You have to cut them. Um, actually, the what you have to do is quite simple. No, not not a spoon. That would be pretty painful. Try to cut someone open with a spoon. All right. See all these little red inflamed areas of the intestines? That's where you cut. Got one. Do your your best, obviously, to uh, not. <laughs> it can be a little difficult, sir. I'm sorry. I think your intestines are done for. Wait, did I actually? I think I got it. Okay. There we go. Got the large intestines. Ugh, come on. <laughs> oh, yum. Alright, and then... <laughs> no, come on. Give me my scalpel. There we go. Okay. The other, ah, the other spot, which is sometimes kind of hard to see, is... Right... Up there. You'll know you got it if it just suddenly flops over. There we go, just like that. <laughs> I think your intestines have a problem. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what happened is I didn't stroke his face for luck. How terrible. Alright, there is one small intestine. Mmm, yummy. I really hope... Yeah, you know, you don't want to use the saw, so that's okay. 
Now you have to get the liver. This guy in this surgery is a pain in the ass. Because he doesn't want to come out. No, he doesn't. Uh-oh. Sorry, sir. My watch is now part of your body. It's okay. Now your organs will... Or what's left of your organs will now know what time it is. Come on. Oh, see, he doesn't want to come out. He's just like, no, this person wants to drink after the surgery. Don't remove me. Get your ass out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out. Out. Yeah, that's right. That wasn't so hard now, was it? <laughs> and once again, you have to cut the esophagus from the stomach so that they are no longer connected. This can take some practice to actually get right. There we go. Okay, now you have to cut the kidneys from those tubes. Whatever you do. D ah, just, don't do that either. But do not try to cut these tubes from here because, trust me, it, it only makes things worse for you. Instead, if I can angle this correctly you cut them there I think that did it all right need green syringe <laughs> just to be on the safe side of course Oop. oh there we go yeah I'd say cut these As long as you know how to get the kidneys out, this is actually a relatively easy surgery. There's one kidney. And... Come on. You're coming out. Don't try to fight it. Ha <laughs> I gotcha. Now, whatever you do, do not let these roll away. Or else you have to start all over. Oh, well. Oh, don't tell me I have to go and put this guy. 